Chad, thanks for coming to Arctic Accord Wargaming. Today we're matching Ryan and Sean. Ryan brought his Grey Knights and Sean brought the Murder Clowns, aka the Harlequins. They've been cleaning up the tournament scene lately, so let's see how these guys do with it. Uh, but before we get into that, if you get that subscribe button, it's over here in the corner somewhere, I'd appreciate that. And also, just a quick announcement. Uh, I had some stuff going on lately with uh, a dentist thing. And so it took up several different days of stuff that I would normally be spending editing. So if you've noticed sporadically in the last like couple months, I've not uploaded every week, but I usually do. That's what was going on. So that's all taken care of now, and we're going to be back on track. So thanks for sticking with me. And now, stick around for the show, folks. Here we go. All right, so we are going to roll for a Tekker and Defender. Five, five, five. okay. Uh, crap doesn't count because it's not in the backs. Six. And four. I'll be attacker. Okay. So today we're going to be playing Tide of Conviction. It's out of the Warzone Knocked Moon Grand Tournament Strike Force. Uh, missions is on page 31. This is a Dominations type where we have to hold two and then three and then more to get our, you know, our points for that. Up to a maximum of 12. Oh, see, they changed this. This is crazy. In this mission, uh, players only receive uh, the Battle Force CP bonus at the start of the command phase if they control the objective marker in their own deployment zone. So we have to hold that to get anything. And then we have the progressive and end game objective called Overrun, which at the end of the, each player's first and second and third. What is this? First, second, third, and fourth turn, the players whose turn it is scores two victory points if they control at least one objective marker in their opponent's territory which is a split down the middle and then uh, at the end of the battle each player scores four victory points if they control the objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone and two for every other objective that's in their opponent's territory so that's fun So I am running the new Harlequins. I'm doing the Sadith of Twilight, which Sadith of Twilight lets me, anytime I'm charged, get charged, or heroically intervene, I get an additional attack. And I'm at 1,996 points and 11 CP. So then going over my list, I have a brick of 12 troops with, there's four fusion pistols in there, there's a bunch of har Harlequin blades, uh, one kiss, and two caresses, so I get all the benefits of the stratagems. Then I have three boats with five troops in it, and the squad of five has two fusion pistols, two caresses, and then a uh, kiss, and then there's the troop master, who she has the twilight fane, which she gains the number of attacks based off of what turn it is. And then she also has the veiled cane, so she auto wounds on twos against infantry, but not uh, monsters or vehicles. The other troop master has no, just fusion pistol and caress. Then Death Jester has the Rift Ghoul, which for that he, uh, fours do mortal wounds. And then the new thing with Death Jesters, if he causes a wound or kills a model, it counts as two models killed for morale. Um, then I have three squads of Sky Weavers. So I have three squads of Star Weavers. Two squads have Shuriken Cannons. Then one squad has Haywire. They all have Zephyr Glaives. And then I forgot to mention my Shadow Seer hidden over here. She has the, what's it called? Mirror of Mines, which is everything being shot at counts as being six inches further away in her, within her six inch aura. And then she has a start, uh, Treasure that's called the Star Mist Raiment, which I am blanking on what it does right now, so I'll come back and do that. Um, then the last boat is over here with 
the same five troops with two fusion pistols, two caresses, and a uh, harlequin kiss. So, the star miss raiment, each time attack is made against the bear, the attack roll and wound roll cannot be re-rolled, and once per battle in the command phase, I can give her a uh, three plus invulnerable save. So then my secondaries, I'm doing two harlequin specific, uh, deadly performance, so I score two points if I meet two of these conditions, and four points if I do th uh, three of them, and those things are on a new objective that I wasn't on the first turn, uh, kill two units in ranged attacks, kill three units in melee, or wholly within my opponent's deployment zone. And then I already explained take your places, and then my third one is retrieve Nakamun data. Okay, so one of my secondaries I'm going to do is called take your places. It's a Harlequin specific, and what you do is you place uh, objective markers, one in your own deployment zone, one in the center of the board, and one in your opponent's deployment zone, and you score two points if you hold two of those at the end of your turn, and you score four if you control all three. So then your opponent gets to deploy the one in my deployment zone, and then I deploy the one in the middle of the board and in his deployment zone. So one. here's where those three ended up dropping. So there's one down on the end here, one in the center, and then the other one down on the far end. Hey, it's Ryan, and guess what? It's St. Paddy's Day at the time of recording this, so happy St. Paddy's Day. Time to go get drunk on green beer. So, uh, yeah, I feel like looking at his army, I'm going to have to do that after this one anyway. So, moving down the line, we'll start over here. We have a unit of strike squads, and guess what? We have this brand new thing called a, a side cannon guy who's hiding with him. So it's what you see is what you get. So we got three halberds, one warding staff, and a side cannon. This is the just car. We move on down. We have a regular Nemesis Dread Knight. Well, actually, we have two of them here. They both are kitted the same. We have sil uh, silencers, and we have incinerators, both with a sword equipped on there. Moving down, we have another strike squad, again with a side cannon, three halberd, or sorry, two halberds, the warding staff, and the sword. And this one, the sword, is the just car. Up front we have something I've never done before, it was a purgation squad with four side cannons and a, a demon hammer. Uh, behind that line we have this model that I'm calling Drago because this shield is way better for, than uh, Drago's that he has. We have an apothecary and we have this model which is technically a chaplain and the other one but we put a, a helmet on him. We're going to call him my librarian because I don't have a librarian model yet. Finally, move over here. We have a Grandmaster and Nemesis Dread Knight. You'll be able to tell the difference because this guy has painted guns that are red. Moving down over here, we have our final strike squad, which has three swords, one per uh, side cannon, and one Nemesis Warning Staff, which again, in this squad, is the Just Car, so we can separate them. In the back here, we have a Paladin squad. The, uh, I believe it's called the Paragon has the sword here, then we have two Nemesis Warding Staffs, and then we have two guys with side cannons as well as swords. Finally on the end we have our lovely 10-man unit of Interceptors with Falchions. All together that's 2,000 points. We have a bunch of various different and wonderful uh, spells and things like that that they know. I don't really want to get into that. <laughs> Because that's a lot. And then on top of that, uh, key things that we need to know would be what artifacts are on who. So, for your benefit, we know that the Grandmaster, I gave him stuff that I pretty much am trying to do what I did last time, but it never worked out for me because you're a stupid psyker. Um, so, let's start with the Librarian. The Librarian has the Relic Sigil of Excellence, which is the uh, Sea of Babai. Uh, one, he also has a combi plasma. Uh, you can see the plasma has the blue on the front of it. Uh, he obviously knows the Vortex of Doom, Purifying Flame, Psychic Epitome uh, trait, and the Gem of Noctu. All that's, everybody knows what that is. Ogrim Scrolls is on the uh, Grandmaster. He also has, uh, what is it? Exemplar of the Silver Host. He has the First of the Fray, Inescapable Wrath. Um, because we're running rapiers, and then uh, he has Servant of the Throne, 
has his gift of pr uh, prescient, and then uh, obviously he has the incinerator side cannon. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe my apothecary is the only other thing. He's here. He has the uh, Curious of Sacrifice. So, that's pretty much it. We have 8 CP in 2,000 points. <laughs> Burn through those real quick. <laughs> so, I decided to pick uh, Purifying Ritual, grind them down, and uh, raise banders for my secondaries. And then we'll see who goes first real quick. So, first turn, roll. Six. Four. So, I have to go first. So, Grey Knight's first turn. So, oh, we already know that I'm going first. You rolled that already. So, the new Harlequins, if you're Battle Forged, you get a thing called Luck of the Laughing God, which you get three dice automatically that count as basically free command CP rerolls. They can be used for anything but charge and mortal wounds and morale phase. Uh, but then you can gamble up to 66 dice, and as long as there's no duplicates, you get all those additional dice, and they can be used any time during your during the battle round, but they refresh every new turn. So then I'm going to gamble three dice. So I got no duplicates, so I have a total of six Luck of the Laughing God dice for turn one. Alright, so that went okay. Uh, the things that I wanted to happen was to move up the board, try and kill a unit, and try and get the two points, even though I didn't really realize I could get those two points, because uh, I thought it was a secondary, because new book, new new life. Um, anyway, so cool things that we did. We came up the board, we did a teleport shunt, got over here, securing this objective, um, and we shot the hell out of this guy uh, with all of the Dread Knights who could reach them, which was all three could shoot him with something. Uh, so we got him off of this objective. I would have suggested going this way, but that's what he did, which helps me. Because he doesn't get a command point next turn. Because of that. Um, as we move down, I just moved everybody up. I went banner, banner, and banner. Uh, so I had four psychic rituals, uh, or purifying rituals, so I got six secondary points from that. Hopefully we can hold these as we move forward. And I got to get my, my boy off here. He went off and he uh, killed this entire squad of 12 guys with, uh, you know, Vortex of Doom and uh, Purifying Flame and everything under the sun. And of course, Vortex of Doom did a little bit of damage to the things in the back. So that's always a good bonus there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we're good. We're, 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 we're feeling it. We're feeling it. We're ready to go. Uh, yeah, it's all you. Here we go for the clown show. Yep. Turn one. So, Harlequin, turn one. I pushed up into his fields, all his units. I basically shot my fusion boat and all the shuriken cans into this squad. Haywires went into, or shuriken cans from here went into this squad. Haywires went into his nemesis, Dread Knight. This bike did retrieve Nakamun data. Then I was going to shoot and charge his librarian, but then he teleported away like a coward instead of glorious combat. Oh, he got in glorious combat anyway. Yeah. Um, so then I charged all my boats in. I had a four inch charge, five, uh, six inch charge and a seven inch charge, made them all. Uh, didn't really damage anyone. I wasn't heavily damaged as well, but I made sure I stayed within my take your places positioning. So then I scored zero points for a deadly performance. Um, four points for take your places, and I did my first retrieve knockman data. And because I did not take a no man's land objective in his side, I don't get the two points for override. Because your boats, even though they have people in it, we're counting that as three. Yep. As far as that's because the obsec is in the boat, not outside. outside the boat. So then, Grey Knights turn. Two. Uh, the only other add additional thing is I definitely get my grind them down on for three points yep. because you didn't kill a unit. Nope. I because I, I auto pass this unit with yep. two points. So I have last CP. zero CP. So that's where we are. Yep. So you got three for grind it down. Yeah. And here we go. Grey Knights turn two. We're 
don't we start over here? So you can see that there's only a couple guys left over here because everybody else disappeared and got transported elsewhere. Um, we did psychic ritual again, or purifying ritual again. Got four places, so we got another six. Um, we moved up this way and tried to get into this guy. Uh, we shot him and attacked him. He still has four wounds left. It's unfortunate for me, um, but he's in combat now. Moving over to here, you can see that there is a lot of dead boys all up in here. The last one died from morale. Um, but yeah, this unit died and that unit died. Um, so we have control of this objective, so I get two points because of the uh, mission objective specifically. Um, moving this way, uh, my Grandmaster and Nemesis Dread Knight is down to six wounds. He failed his charge. It sucks. Um, there used to be three boats here. Um, they're all dead now. Um, they had to do desperate breakout because I didn't give him enough room. And so he had to come over here, and in that process he lost uh, two guys. And therefore I still control this objective with four plus one because of my other guy. Um, other than that, the Death Jester is dead. Uh, we just have your, what is this called again? Troop Master. The, the, the Troop Master is the only thing left alive on this side other than... Uh, a couple of other units over there. My uh, Drago decided that you know he wanted to get uh, the apothecary closer to the battle, and he moved him another like 12 inches, basically, or well more than that, to try and get him closer so that when he uh, gets into the next combat, uh, he'll be within or the next movement phase, he'll be close enough to be able to heal somebody potentially. Because um, I'm assuming some people are going to die this turn. I, if he kills one of the units of pure or paladins, maybe he can revive one of them in that process. So, uh, so far pretty great. Uh, I think we had, we'll probably get grind them down because they destroyed a lot of units. We'll have to count them up just to be sure. But I don't think you're going to be able to do it because you have one, two, three, four, five, six units died this turn. And I have about that many units on the table. <laughs> so I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to grind them down on that. Yeah. But to be determined. Yeah, I did get 12 points at the beginning of this because I had more uh, objectives than he did right away. So, last point. All right, here we go. Harlequin's turn two. So, Harlequin turn two. I just charged up, started doing a lot of shooting at close range and melee. So, over here, I disembarked shot his troops in the face and then charged them in melee and definitely overkilled them by like 20 dice. Yeah. Um, then over here, my Skyweavers tried shooting his Dreadnought, but only wounded him down to nine wounds, so he's still much of a threat. Then over here was a lot of murder and fighting and shooting, so... My troops of three with the troop master, they shot their fusion pistols into the Nemesis Dread Knight and then charged into the unit over here. My Shadow Seer missed her shots but was able to give a feel no pain aura and she charged into melee combat with the librarian. Then my squad of five charged into the librarian itself. And then my troop master charged the apothecary after shooting him in the face and killed him in melee combat. And I killed the librarian and the squad of remaining in melee. And then I consolidated into his terminators. Paladins, the, but yeah. Or paladins. And the built in mass one that the Harlequin mask basically saved three of them, made mm -hmm. it pretty tough for them to clear that squad. So two still remain, and they pass morale. Um, and so then I scored my deadly performance. I got three points because I took an objective that I was not previously on, and I killed three units in melee. And then I did not do retrieve Nachman data, and I only got two points for take your places because I was only able to secure two of the three spotlights. So I just realized that he's doing two out of his book, but we're just going to go with it anyway, because yeah, I don't really I'm care. I'm losing anyway, but yeah, um, I goofed that up. Yeah, so yes, we realized that we used two out of his book. By accident. By accident. 
It's get a, over it. It's a new book. It's so. a new book. So no, it's not, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's not new rules, which is what they're going to say. Yeah. The answer is, we it doesn't like, fucking matter. We got it figured out. Yeah. <laughs> so if I didn't do Deadly Performance, I would have probably done To the Last, which would be my bike squads then. Yeah. So if we want to change it, I'd still have five points for my yeah. bike squads. I mean, if they live. Yeah, if they live. They're not gonna live. So we'll change, <laughs> yeah. We'll change Deadly Performance to to the last and it'd be my Skyweaver squads. I mean I would have done engage on all fronts. No, nope, I, I can't because the Oh Take Your Places takes that slot. Oh. So Yeah. Right. No yep. So that was my mistake. I got overzealous on wanting to test out the new codex. <laughs> but we cool. caught it before the end of the game, so I fix it. Super Grey Knights, turn three. We'll start over here. We killed the boat. Um, this was to represent that he had hammer hand on him. Uh, they wiped the squad. I killed two of them off there. Um, we didn't do any psychic stuff other than smites and hammer hand casting, basically. Uh, this guy shot the hell out of there. He didn't even get to charge them, from what I recall. And uh, over here, our paladin squad cast smite, did two damage. The other guy had two wounds on him, so they didn't kill. He, they needed three uh, for that. And then they killed him immediately in combat um, with the Tide of Convergence, I believe is what it's called, giving me uh, every six does a mortal wound. So. Uh, yeah, this is where we're at. I think I got it in the bag, but I don't know yet now because he's killing me like crazy. So, uh, I've killed three units. He's killed one. So you have to kill two more units this next turn. Um, and if you can do that, then I don't get grind them down and just get further ahead. Um, I did land on his ob objective at the end of the round. So I get the additional two points for that. Um, in the beginning of this turn, I only got eight points. As far as that goes, so yeah, that's the uh, end of that. I only did get two points for raised banners. All right, Harlequins turn three. One like dice left. <laughs> so Harlequin turn three, super fast. I retrieved Nachman data over here. Um, I shot his paladins over here with everything. Uh, smited, er, and then charged him in combat. Overkilled him with all those melee combat. I don't get take your places. Um, so I got two points for taking the overrun objective, and then turn four for Grey Knights. It's probably going to be a quick one, because I don't have much remaining. That went well. Just shot the living shit out of everything and called it good good <laughs> um so in the end this is where we are uh yeah the whole paladin squad is dead but his everything else special people his psychic people all died I had a little bit of a vortex of doom that went in there and, and sweeped up the troops and then did one more wound to everything else and then we just shot him and so um yeah the purgation squad has worked out pretty well so far so anyway, uh, yeah, let's, uh... What was the score? Uh, Haven't ended it up yet. A lot so, to a little. Okay. Hey, good hey. game. Next time you gotta bring your towel. I know, I wanna bring my towel next time. It was fun, but a tough yeah. uphill battle after that turn one with... Yeah, I mean... Psychic nuking. I mean, when one man kills 12 people with his mind, that's pretty great. Yeah, um, Alpha Strike at its finest. Yeah, and I think, um, so just to clarify, uh, you would use two from the book. Yep, which so we, we then, switched it to Assassinate yes, instead of... we said earlier that we switched to something else. To the last, but I already killed no. some characters. So Assa assassinate, assassinate made more sense anyway, because I had four characters yep. at that point. Um, one of which being my Lord, yep. obviously. So, in the end, you would get ten for Assassinate. And then take your places, you got how much? Did Six. Get? Six. Yep. And then, and then knock and I only got four for that. Because yep. killed too many stuff early on, so yep. uphill battle. 
So in the end, you got uh, 40 points, yep. which is more than the last time. Yes. And I got uh, line 79. 79. Yep. Because um, I think I only would have got grind them down three, three in ten. a row because yes. you were dead after the end of that yep. turn. So I can't really kill more there. units afterwards. Yeah. And raise banners, I got only got seven probably. So yep. um, well, that peeled you off of the back. Well, it would be nine technically, so sure. it would be like 81. 81 the, to 40. The scores in the end. Yep. Um, but yeah, so you know, I mean, in the end, secondaries it was actually close. It was the primary yeah. game. I couldn't. Basically, if I ignored your Dread Knights, yeah. they slaughtered everything they saw. It, I blew my load of my CP <laughs> right away. On turn one, basically. You know, when I, when I got my guys to go over that one, I think I knew that I had the upper hand. As soon as you put this one down here by yep. the other objective, I knew I had to kill that one, and then you kill the middle yep. one. I, did, I didn't have to, I just had to slightly defend this. Yep. Um, Which then I committed all my melee into it and right, claimed it right. later on. Exactly. And so I think... Um, and my bikes were constantly contesting that on and off, but then that one, as soon as I disembarked troops, then I basically lost it. So when I put that over in that corner, mm -hmm. right, um, I would have... If I was in your position, I would have taken that, that tank... Mm -hmm. And just drove it over to this one. Sure. And just defended the two because you were trying to spread it out. Too, yeah. Which is exactly what I wanted. To do. Yeah. You want to spread the field, and now my right. lead army is. Yeah, and and even then you could have dropped your troop, but your troops are the ones who want to be in combat. Yeah. So. Which uh, that's what I ended up doing. I left the tank back there and then exactly. set my troops up. Exactly. So what? Uh, the other. How far do those troops move? Eight automatically, but then they advance D six. Yeah. And they can still shoot and charge after the advance, plus three inches after disembarking. So what I would have done differently is... Shoot them up faster. I would have taken the tank and honestly drove the guys up yeah. to the first objective here. Yeah. And then had them jump out and maybe fought a Dread Knight and killed the Dread Knight. Sure. Just with all my attacks. Yeah. And it, it, even if I was like, oh no, I'm not going to go up there, I'll just sit back and shoot yeah. you. You could have taken your tank and then gone backwards, because then, how was the distance on your tank shot? 16. Oh, tank can shoot 24 inches. Uh, okay. So it's kind of mid-board still. Yeah, but if you if you had your tank on that objective, you would have yeah. protected, technically, that one and this one. Yeah, because so I could have would've... split the difference and been on the stairs and basically got both. Yeah, and while you could also shoot the one that was over here. Yeah. That's that's what I think. Yeah, that, you put different. me in the pickle there because it was just far enough where I had to commit to yes. one or the other. Yes. And then the you <sighs> nuking my 12-man squad here kind of eliminated the help over on that one yep. so that I had to push to these two. And then once I lost all my bikes, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. done. I, I was a little curious why you didn't take your haywires and shoot at my group of 10 guys. Because they're only strength 3 now. But so, it's a blast weapon. Oh, true. But it's only, yeah, it was plus only, one shot. Yeah, so. I was worried. That's why, like, when we started, well, cause I after, was worried where you are going to put it. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> yeah, you had your Dread Knight there, and they flopped. But, yeah, I could have shot at your guys, but that's why I was using the shirt. Oh, I was cannons. saying, like, turn one. Oh, turn one, sure. when, I, when I TP'd them over there, Yeah. I would have taken your, the guys with the haywires killed that whole Yeah, because I had the two them. squads of shurikens I shot yeah. over there, but oh yeah. well, it was, I thought maybe I yeah. could pick off more of the Dread Knight, but that's, I, that's I, the I only thing I would have done. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if you would have done that, it would have forced me to do something different, yeah. and then I would have had to... I'd say this front, I, once I got aggressive, I was doing oh, yeah. great on this side of oh, the Oh yeah, you, you took three guys, you jammed them in there, you yeah. killed a bunch of dudes, Yeah, it was so, for me. left side of the board, good. Right side, bad. Oh, from your perspective. My yes. perspective, yeah. I think I would have, instead of going after the apothecary, I would have just taken out the paladins right away. Yeah. Like, and I would not. I got them eventually, but. Yeah, yeah, no, fair. Um, but I would have taken that lady, brought her up, brought her out six inches. Yeah. And then charged with her. Yep. Yeah. Because like then she gets one. a plus six <laughs> to charge. I would have I would have done that turn one because she's just yeah. insane. And my I just didn't want to leave her by, her by herself because she gets stronger as the game goes on. That's fair. Because then I mean, going from six attacks to possibly... What if you just kill everybody? It doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then she's out left in the open to be shot. That's, that's fair. Yeah. So that uh, basically the only way I could do that is if I did the 
Fog of Dreams on her by Karen Cassidy on her since she was started in the boat. Mm. Because Fog of Dreams is a psychic ability where if you're outside of 12 inches, you can't target that unit with ranged attacks. But since she mm -hmm. started in the boat, it would only apply on the boat itself. Yeah, because, I mean, like, okay, so you take the boat, you go up. Yep. Right, you disembark. Well, turn two, I would have to disembark. All right. Well, yeah. yeah. Turn two, well, even when you disembark, you move, you move out six inches, and then she can charge 12 plus something, right? Yep. 2d6 plus six. So, so I think, I honestly think if you just could've... You charge her up. If you would have... Put, place the boat closer with her in it just mm -hmm. for protection. First turn, you move her six inches. Yeah. The next turn, she charge or that turn, well, she charges so another six plus two d six at the paladin. Going on that battle. thought process, there is a stratagem that's called a curtain fall. So, after a character or infantry fights, you can consolidate six inches into a transport. So I could have had her out. Ran up the board, did combat, but ran the boat up with her. Yeah. And then after she fights off of the charge, mm -hmm. just jump back in. So that I should have done that. The, the next strat. Yeah, I've forward. done that before. It, when old Codex, it was a lot easier to do it. But yeah, I need to be aggressive with her and not be afraid to let her die. Because I mean, I mean, she'll be a meat yeah. grinder. Yeah. So as far as like your most valuable player, I think I would say your troops are just fucking insane. My regular troops. Yeah, yeah. they're just insane. When I run, let's see, I run 27 troops, and there's yeah. some lists that run 60. Uh, and they're, better. they're being way better. better. They yeah. were, I think they were better than your bikes, honestly. Yeah. If they can move just as fast, or... Well, yeah, bikes can move 16 without advancing, and then the troops move 8. I would have taken, like, maybe 1 or 2, because you had how many units of bikes? Three. Three. Three of five. I would stick with, like, only two, just so you can, like, get some, like, board control. And then well, and the shuriken cannons like did work against your troops with well, the bikes. True. It's just that's that true. the Dread Knights were just picking them off yeah. for free. Yeah. Because I basically was like, if I ignore the Dread Knights, but then who are on the right It would have probably been easier to kill your other guys, too. With yeah. Stuff. So, that's so I guess I, gonna, I chose yeah. the priority target of your obsec yeah. instead of your Dread Knights. That's also why I think my bikes just were sacrificial lambs, because I was ignoring the Dread Knights. And yeah, and I don't know how you could have gone around that. No, because I, I remember... Tanks, you got to take all three of those tanks, or yeah. maybe even four. Yeah. Shoot them all at one guy and yeah. move up. Well, and I remember the first game we played, I made a mistake of it. kept split-firing, trying to kill all the Dread Knights in, like, yes. one phase. Yes. I didn't do it this time. I was focusing yep. down... But then, luckily, two of your Dread Knights were on one side of the board, so that I could just kind of commit to Take this side. Commit to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it was a better play. It was just choose killing your obsec or choose killing your Dread Knights. Can't do both with this list. No. Unless I get lucky rolls. Yeah. Which obviously did not happen with any Haywires, because I, I mean, caused zero wounds. pretty damn great. Yeah. Uh, I was, yeah. And the luck of the Laughing God is overpowered and it's very hilarious. helpful and it's hilarious and it's awesome mm -hmm. you get free cp re-rolls uh, that was insane and it saved me in that corner constantly yeah hey, here's i'm just gonna re-roll three of these yep. at the same time done <laughs> oh, okay yeah um but yeah other than that i think yeah my librarian finally worked how i wanted yep. to with your teleport and vortex of doom and you know like oh like i didn't want to mention that he had the 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 thing to pop away. I thought you forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. I, I, I like, forgot about I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. No. Nope. I'm not going to say anything. I killed him anyway. It was just a turn right. later. <laughs> but if you if you, sh if you didn't shoot at him and you just charged him, you could have killed him. Oh, sure. Yeah. But so. because I declared him a target for shooting, then charging. Then got, well, well, because you could have advanced, yeah. not shot him at all, and shot everybody else. Sure. And then charged him. And they wouldn't have been able he to. He wouldn't have been able to pop away. Oh, see? That was lesson learned. Lesson learned for Grey Knights. Oh, yeah, well. The bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> the artifact, that's what happens. Yep. Well, I got him eventually anyway. Eventually, but yes. Chalcier and six, or no, nine troops in melee. I, <laughs> yeah. I think I, uh, with that purgation squad, that worked out yeah. better than I thought it would. Yep. And um, your flamers, you were rolling very hot. No oh, pun intended with that. For the that. first time ever, I rolled two sixes, sixes on a, an incinerator, heavy incinerator. Never done that ever. Yep. And, and all then my, the, and minus ones to hit. Ten. Yeah. 
never done that ever. Yeah. So your first shooting phase, you did insane. Twenty-two shots with a flamer uh, that ignores yeah. my minus one to hit. So, can't That's really do that when you're toughness three or four. Yep. <laughs> so, That's how you get around involves is DACA and yeah, more DACA. So much DACA. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. In, the, in the end, I think it, would, it worked out well. Yeah, um, it, was, it was still a fun game. It oh, was, yeah. I know Grey Knights is a hard counter to this har- new Harlequins, but... I mean, I mean trial I, and error. I want to see them go against Tau. Like, like, oh, Tau will, will probably shred them. Still? Harlequins? Because it's like my Tau as they I run... Shoot. I have so much shot, so much. Uh, I have one commander that shoots 17 times. Uh, uh, don't bring him. <laughs> and old strength him. six or him. higher. No. So. I'm scared. No, no <laughs> that's fine. Uh. Tower, definitely. Alpha Strike Army, I think Harlequins are as well. They need to be the ones charging, which once I was able to, to charge, I was definitely oh, yeah. gained those benefits. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then I burned through CP, so I couldn't do my fight on deaths or anything yeah like i was that. like oh oh he's down to nothing yep great <laughs> so if i will bit and i think if i did say death of dark which their special rule is you fight on death mm-hmm. army wide it wouldn't have helped me because you're killing me with psychic yeah so yeah it would have been more shooting yeah. goose egg yeah and then uh say death of the light wouldn't have helped against the psychic abilities it would have helped against shooting a little bit but not much. So I think Twilight was a good um, running Twilight into Grey Knights I think was the best bet just because of the extra movement and yeah. punching ability but it's just... I figured out halfway through that I messed up. Remember yeah. how I had to make a 9 inch charge and I yeah. had an 8? Yeah, yeah so you needed the true what I should have done, instead of shooting that round, I should have advanced. Sure. Well actually I could have still shot because I had a flamer, which is an assault weapon. Sure. And then flame, and then flame, charge. and then charge. Because I get a with what I have equipped to it, it's plus one to advance. Yep. Plus one to charge. Sure. So I would have had. I rolled an eight. I need a nine. I would have got that nine just from advancing. Yep. Roll, rolling a one. I would have got a one extra instead. Yeah. There you eight. go. So. Yeah. It was fun though. I like oh, yeah, it. Oh yeah. And I like the new Harold Quinns. It's. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's mainly. What order to use stratagems? That is why I have I have a list. Cheat sheet. Yeah. I have a cheat sheet, and it's actually out of date. Yeah. Because I just I need to put more stuff on there, but yeah. making an Excel, copy pasting it yeah. out of like a Word doc, oh, that so much easier. Yeah. When I went to a tournament, it was just like turn one, I do this, and then like in the new new book, it's the missions are insane. Yeah. So what I did on the last one is I made little note cards, mm-hmm. and I said, okay, the list of the you know, this is my list that I'm bringing, and I just like drew out the, the actual map yeah. on there, and I'm like, I'm Big gonna put plan. these people here. Yeah, you know, because I had picked in a previous edition or previous tournament, I had like to the last mm-hmm. and raise banners, and like I was gonna have squads of paladins with two apothecaries sure. to just be like, <laughs> you know. Well, I'm talking about secondaries. I think this codex for Harlequins, it's mm-hmm. very thematic, their secondary objectives. Like, oh. a deadly performance, you have to be aggressive and kill things. And then, like, take your places. It's In the lore, it basically says this is where they perform their killing theater kind of thing. So it's thematic. I like it. So anyway, um, appreciate you coming by. Yeah, another um, fun game. Eventually I'll bring my towel again. And then I will die. Maybe. Hardcore. Maybe. I mean, last time I played against Tau, I tied, and that was hard, sure. and that was against somebody who was like, well, yeah, I've been playing for years, and like, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he just made mistakes, that's all he sure. did. So, yeah. anyway. Fun game. Oh, yeah. Always fun. Uh, well, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, join the horde. Let's yeah. go. See you next time.